I don't come with stars in my eyes. I don't come thinking like, oh, you're going to be this big star. I come thinking, well, I got to work and I got to meet these people. And when they don't call, it's like, it's really frustrating. So you want to be a rock superstar and live large, big house, five cars, you're in charge, coming up with the world. The key with the music business and the key with shopping any act and the key with being successful is to find one person who believes that you're the next star. And it only takes one. There's a lot of people telling you, you're so amazing, like you're gonna be huge and you've done all these things and everything's in place. It's just gonna take that one person. But I'm still waiting for that person. I'm still waiting for that song. I'm still waiting for that big shot. Something big happened to us a few weeks ago. And that is we were on MTV. We were on TRL. And we played this song. Being on TRL and being in Rolling Stone and those things are great, but they're not it, you know? So I need that extraordinary thing that's gonna make make it for us and make people notice that we're here. Uh, it's my honor, my privilege to do this the last time in Orlando for a while. You guys blow the roof off this place real quick. It's Corey Yorkin. And it's not gonna happen from Orlando. I know that. And I don't even know if it's gonna happen from here. But I have to try. Look how awesome this is. So I can say that I did everything I could to fulfill my dreams, because I never want to live with a what if. Jasmine's going to leave the band, so it's either you know, or, 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 like, move on, which is fine, yeah. but, uh, so, yeah, it was a good, it was, I think it was a good choice, it's just, like I said, things are starting to happen. So the other night I was hanging out on the set of the Black Eyed Peas new video, which is surreal and cool. And I'm there meeting Fergie's manager and Apple and all these people, you know, it's if so-and-so wants, like finds out I'm in music and they want to help me out and they're like, oh, we should sing on this song. And then all of a sudden that song is the one that gets to radio. Like, who knows? I mean, so many things can happen. And I have to put myself in a situation to let that happen. <laughs> to just think about where you are in your life and write to your age and write to what you're going through. You know what I mean? Like, the bands that stayed around forever evolved. Just think about that when you're, you know what I mean? Like, you know more, you're wiser, you've probably been screwed over a lot more. You know? But just think about that. When your passion is riding on the line, you know, everything you do seems to matter. So it's hard and it is emotional. <laughs> what becomes of the singers and songwriters that don't make it? They are mechanics, they're waitresses, they're housewives, and worse. Because if you chase your dream and you miss it, the fall is brutal. I still have hope and I still believe, you know, and I think that's why I keep going. And I see the bigger picture and I know that when success does happen, that's how you gotta think, it'll be much more sweeter because you've struggled and because you know the downs to be able to feel the ups. You know? assassin, assassin, assassin.